Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. Super short video today because we're not actually going to be doing any chemistry. Uh, I'm just going to be introducing a new project of mine that we're going to be doing uh, at some point in the near future. And I wanted to consult with my viewers uh, how I'm planning on progressing through this project. From the title of this video, uh, you probably know what that project is going to be. But before we get into that, for the last six years or so, I've been doing repair jobs for mobile phones. So for particularly iPhones, uh, I do screen replacements and battery replacements for friends and relatives. And in that time, over the last three years or so, when I've actually been planning on doing this project, um, every time I've replaced a phone battery, uh, I've been storing the battery that I replace, uh, the dead one or the one that's not working anymore, and keeping it for later. So for the past three years, out of all the battery replacements that I've done, um, I have quite a few batteries. There we go, iPhone battery, 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 iPhone battery. Um, another type of phone battery, a couple of other phone batteries, and then I even have a couple of laptop batteries as well. All of these being lithium ion batteries. Anyway, the plan is now that I have so many batteries, uh, relatively non-working batteries, I mean, I couldn't use these as actual energy storage anymore. Um, they hardly hold a charge at this stage. What I wanna do, uh, seeing as we have so many, is extract the lithium from our batteries here. Now, removing the lithium from the batteries isn't an easy task. There's a lot of stuff that goes into a lithium ion battery and it's quite difficult to separate out the lithium uh, from everything that's in there, but we're gonna have a go. Uh, we're gonna do our best and try to get a reasonable yield of lithium from all of these batteries. Now, there are a couple of other YouTubers who have given this a go. Uh, these include Extractions and Aya, uh, who did it a few years ago. And then I think, how do you say it? Thoi Soy 2 uh, has also given this a go quite recently, actually. And evidently from their videos, it's quite tricky to get a good yield. But again, uh, we're gonna be trying our best. Anyway, based on those videos and a bunch of literature online, uh, there are a lot of ways that we could go about trying to extract the lithium from the batteries. In fact, I've narrowed it down to around five different processes that we could have a go at. So I'll tell you those five ideas right now. The first couple of ideas just involve copying uh, what other channels have given a go at. So first one is we could copy Tom from Extractions and Aya and um, discharge the batteries completely, um, take out all of the lithium containing oxide dust. Um, we can dissolve all of that up in nitric acid or hydrochloric acid, and then we can precipitate out all of the cobalt, manganese, nickel, aluminium, uh, all the transition metals like that um, with the oxalate ion. So we can add sodium oxalate to the solution, something like that, and then to remove our lithium from solution, uh, we can drop the lithium out as the carbonate. It seems like Tom didn't get a very good yield doing that, uh, so maybe it's better to try some other idea. I don't know. The second idea is to just copy uh, Thoi Soy 2's process, um, that is to get our lithium containing oxide mixture out in the same way that we did in the first idea, and then dissolve the aluminium uh, that is on the electrodes with sodium hydroxide solution. Uh, that will leave us with the cobalt oxides, the manganese oxides, the nickel oxides, and the lithium oxides. We can then dissolve up all the oxides with sulfuric acid, and then filter off any graphite that is remaining from the electrodes. Then we can oxidize uh, the manganese into manganese dioxide, filter that off, and then use sodium hydroxide solution to precipitate out the nickel and the cobalt. That'll leave us again with lithium in solution, which we will drop out as the carbonate. The third idea is based on current ideas surrounding um, the industrial recycling of lithium batteries to extract the lithium. That involves dissolving all of our lithium containing materials in our batteries with nitric acid and then thermally decomposing it with super high temperatures. Uh, we can do that with the furnace that I now have um, to decompose all of the transition metal nitrates into oxides, um, leaving only the lithium to be in a soluble form. So dissolving up our oxide mixture after uh, putting it into the furnace should allow us to selectively dissolve the lithium from the batteries, at which point we can again precipitate out our lithium as the carbonate. Fourth idea is 
Very similar to the third idea, uh, but it skips the step of dissolving everything in nitric acid. So it's possible that if we remove all of our lithium containing dust and material from our batteries, that just decomposing it with high temperatures straight up uh, will convert everything into its oxide and then only the lithium will be in a soluble form. So once again, we can selectively dissolve our lithium that way and precipitate it out as the carbonate. The fifth and final idea that I have at this stage is Again, to take the electrode materials uh, that contain our lithium and dissolve the aluminium that might be present with sodium hydroxide solution, uh, filter off all of the oxides that remain, and then dissolve everything in nitric or sulfuric or hydrochloric acid. So at that point, we should have um, manganese, cobalt, nickel, and lithium in solution. Um, at that point, we can precipitate out the manganese by oxidizing it to manganese dioxide. And then I'm thinking we might be able to electrolyze the solution. I know everything on this channel involves electrochemistry, but I think it's a relatively good idea. We can electrolyze our remaining cobalt, nickel, and lithium solution uh, to remove our cobalt and nickel as metal uh, depositing on the cathode, leaving us with just lithium in solution, which we can then, again separate out by precipitating it as the carbonate. I know that was a bit of an information dump there, but that's all of my ideas for how we can extract the lithium from this. Um, I'd love to hear your ideas in the comments if you have any further ideas, or if you just wanna tell me which of those ideas you think will work best, or even more importantly, which of those ideas uh, you wanna see me do. Anyway, I'll look forward to hearing your opinions on which method is best, um, or if you have any ideas of your own, but I'll talk to you in the comments, I suppose. See you there.